husband far behind her. Have you talked to him at all? No. Heard from him? No. Anything you would say to him? It wouldn't be appropriate. We need bleeps. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's the loser. That's all for now. I'm Lester Holt. Thanks for joining us. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is from Irvine, where firefighters are searching a man-made lake after someone reported seeing a car fly off the road and into the water. Eliana Moreno is live in News Chopper 4 with the latest. Eliana. Kathy, and this isn't Irvine Lake, but it's the man-made lakes that are in the Woodbridge area of Irvine, just off of Yale Loop and Yale Avenue. Now, it was about at 10 o'clock that somebody reported seeing a car fly into the lake, and just within the last 30 seconds, my pilot, George, heard from the fire helicopter overhead that they think they located the vehicle. They think that these rescuers are right on top of where that vehicle is located. We were also able to get other information from the fire helicopter. They're telling us that the lake is only about six feet deep so hopefully they've located that vehicle and the two people who are possibly inside but let me widen out the shot because i want to show you how we think this couple of posts. One of them right there in the middle is broken, as are the chains on either side. So we believe that that is where the car entered the lake. And as you just heard from our report a few seconds ago, they believe that they have found the vehicle right where these rescuers are currently. But the sheriff's dive team is also on their way to help with the rescue. That's latest here in Irvine from News Chopper 4. I'm Eliana Marino. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. We'll get back to you if anything happens. Thank you, Eliana. Also at 11, pulling it all night at the outlets. The Citadel packed with cars and people trying to score big deals as the holiday shopping season kicks off. The Citadel outlets opened at 8 tonight and won't close until 11 tomorrow night. NBC4's Darsha Phillips is live out there for the beginning of the 27-hour marathon. Darsha. Yeah, Kathy, this is early access for Black Friday shoppers. Take a look at this behind me. The crowd just continues to grow here at the Citadel Outlets. Lots of folks wanting to get those deals, and there are definitely deep discounts here at the Citadel Outlets. It was the night of Thanksgiving, and all through the mall, every bargain hunter was out having a ball. Some shoes, uh, jackets, sweaters. The shopping bags were full of coats, clothes, and shoes. Black Friday's tomorrow, but look at these views. Kate Spade, and it's a good deal. What so, kind of deals? Like how much off? Uh, 70% plus 25. Yay! Deep discounts galore and lines out the door. Like 70% off Ugg boots. Yeah, nice throw for like 45 bucks. Shoppers came ready, all bundled up tight with visions of finishing their Christmas list tonight. Getting everything out the way for the holidays. I just got stuff for my grandma and yeah, her mom for, grandma. for her Christmas presents and everything. <laughs> the tree and the lights and the music so snappy. <laughs> but not everyone was oh so happy. Nike is closed. H&M is closed, Coach is closed. This is just day one of the holiday shopping season. Some for me. <laughs> but with deals like these, who really needs a reason? We'll see what's on sale, see if I like something. Back here live again, another look at these crowds. They are only going to grow as the night goes on. 130 stores open right now. You did hear that some of those stores are not open, like Nike and Coach. They will open at 6 a.m. tomorrow, and all of these stores will stay open until 11 p.m. tonight. So if you are not out here yet, make sure that you get here now and try and find a parking space. It is already very crowded. Kathy, we'll send it back to you. Deep discounts indeed. What did you get for me? Love the rhyming, Darsha. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Well, what a difference a day <laughs> makes. Check out the horseshoe at LAX last night on one of the busiest travel days of the year. It took well over 20 minutes just to get around there. And here's a live look on the right side of your screen. Traffic moving very smoothly out there tonight.
Let's head outside for a look at downtown L.A.